In this week's episode of Assassination Classroom, the students of Class 3E prepare to go into battle to take another final exam born from the very depths of Principal Asano's own personal hell. I'm almost fully convinced after watching this episode that Principal Asano is not completely human. Maybe it's just a visual metaphor for how he teaches people, but with characters like Koro-sensei, Itona, Shiro, and for God's sakes, the Reaper, the principal of this school is absolutely insane, literally brainwashing his students to not only defeat Class 3E in the final exams, but to absolutely murder them. The visual imagery that they use for this is just frankly kind of hilarious and over the top and incredibly creepy all at the same time. Basically, he brainwashes all of the students into studying their asses off so that they can make Class 3E look like a bunch of fools. But by doing this, he essentially turns them into bloodthirsty zombies. They literally act like zombies, constantly repeating that they want to destroy Class 3E. And I also love the imagery of these weird, disgusting, monstrous-like centipedes which are wrapped around their head as Principal Asano is personally teaching all of them. Interestingly enough, he is not doing this to his very own son, Gakushu Asano. And the main reason I believe this is one, he doesn't want to completely corrupt him at the end of the day. I honestly do believe that Principal Asano is looking out for the best interests of his son, he's simply not showing that. And I have a feeling that by the end of the series, Koro-sensei is finally going to bring the principal and his son together and possibly even heal their incredibly tumultuous relationship. And you can definitely tell tell from this episode that Gakushu himself is trying to rebel a little bit against his father, not only by speaking up against him at the beginning of the episode, but by personally asking Class E to completely dominate the exams so that they can show that the principal's methods of teaching are pretty messed up and they're not working properly. And that brings us to the meat and potatoes of this week's episode, which is watching Class 3E finally take the exam. And if you guys watched the previous season, you know exactly the way they personify this, by throwing the students into this, like, gladiatorial-style coliseum, where they literally do battle with the test, which takes the form of giant monsters, big giant samurai, and a giant robotic spider creature, which they all attack in a number of different ways, with swords, hammers, and frickin' guns. The visual imagery is really exciting, over the top, kind of funny, and does a great job of showing you how difficult this test really is. The principal has pulled out all of the stops when it comes to making this one of the most difficult tests possible. So difficult, in fact, that this is the type of test that could easily put you into a college. And of course, right at the forefront, there's also a little confrontation between Principal Asano and Koro-sensei himself. Principal Asano really wants to knock Koro-sensei down a peg or two, and I have a feeling he's not going to do that anytime soon. Another thing that's really cool about this episode is, of course, the intense rivalry between Karma Akabane and Gakushu Asano, two characters who are very similar, not just in their appearance, but in their very ideals. It's just how they go about doing that which really makes it interesting, and at the very end of the episode, they're about to have, like, a little bit of a showdown as they're taking the exam, and I have a feeling that Karma is probably going to come out on top, easily one of the coolest characters from the entire series. And so what's the rundown on this week's episode of Assassination Classroom? Kill 3E! Kill 3E! The students of this junior high have officially been turned into zombies, and something about that is really funny. It's amazing social commentary, and Principal Asano has proved to be one of the greatest adversaries for Koro-sensei in the entire series. And considering that he's not like some sort of weird, otherworldly being with crazy powers, that's saying quite a bit. They are literally having a battle of pure education, and at the end of the day, that's kind of the biggest theme of Assassination Classroom, aside from all the weird giant yellow octopus getting ready to destroy the earth and all that jazz. That being said, this episode was strikingly similar to that one from the first season, but the imagery is so fun to look at that you're totally going to get absorbed. Fans of the first season of Assassination Classroom are going to see a lot of similarities between this episode and the exam that they had in the first season, but the imagery is so fun to look at, it's so over-the-top and ridiculous, and really does a great job of letting the viewer know this test is hard as balls. 
That combined with all of the creepy imagery from the principal himself make this one of the more visually striking episodes from the second season of Assassination Classroom. This is also a great build up to the big finale of the series which I can only imagine is just going to be absolutely insane. My favorite thing about this episode personally is the rivalry which is constantly brewing between Gakushu Asano and Karma Akabane because like I said the characters are very similar in many senses and yet complete polar opposites at the end of the day and I love seeing their rivalry, I love seeing it spark at the very end when they confront each other, that combined again with the imagery with just Karma with this big gun behind his back just looks so freaking cool. Never could they have made a final exam look any cooler than in Assassination Classroom. So yes, this week's episode was over the top with lots of great imagery and it ends on a really great cliffhanger ending, getting me even more excited for next week's episode. So Ass Class fans, definitely check out this week's episode. You're going to see something you like. And it'll get you really excited as we get even closer to the finale of Assassination Classroom Season 2. So I really enjoyed this episode quite a bit. In many ways, kind of a retread of that episode from the first season. But still, I love to see how far that Class 3E has come since that event. And I also thought it was really cool when Gakushu actually confronted Class 3E and was actually asking for their help. It was a very humbling moment for that character. And so I'm going to give this week's episode a 4 out of 5, another good high quality episode of Assassination Classroom, which you should definitely not miss if you are a fan of the series. But you heard my thoughts about this week's episode, I want to hear from you guys. Make sure to tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Ask Class in the comment section below. Did you have a favorite scene from this episode? What do you hope to see from the final results of this exam? And what do you want to see from the rest of Assassination Classroom? Make sure to tell me in the comment section below. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you for watching this review and make sure to share it with all of your friends and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to see all of our latest anime and manga reviews. Thank you guys again for watching and as always, stay dandy, baby.